Okay, we're going to make my wife's berry sherry trifle. This is a great one for Christmas because, as the name suggests, it contains a lot of sherry. So, hopefully you've got your vanilla pod and um, you've just cut it in half and scraped out the seeds. And we need to get the milk on and add the vanilla pod to that. So, just put your milk into a saucepan and then just straight in with the seeds and the vanilla pods. And we'll just turn the heat on to a, just a medium heat, and we'll have to keep going back and stirring it so that the milk doesn't stick. And then we can get on and make the, uh, the base of the trifle. Okay, hopefully you've got your bits, your little slices of Swiss roll. And we just need to layer these around the side. Go. And we can squash them together to fit, that's absolutely fine. One in the bottom, and I think we can squeeze in another one. So just push them apart with your hands and wedge another one in. There we go. So that'll form the base. And now we need to add in the sherry. So we just pour generously sherry over all of them. Oops, spilt a bit. Oops, spilt another bit. There we go. It's every bit should be really nice and soaked. So just drizzling sherry all over it. There we go. I've just had an approving nod from my wife, so I can't be doing too bad so far. Right, and hopefully you've got your um, your berries, so we can just tip those in to the into the middle, the nice little cavity that you've you've made with the with the Swiss roll. Go. Just give the uh, milk a little stir. Because you don't want it to stick on the bottom, that's key. And hopefully yours is nicely dotted with the bits of vanilla pod now. All the seeds have come apart and be perfect. That'll be really flavouring everything up. And we can get on and whisk the eggs. Good. So I've got four egg yolks in here, two of them smashed upon entry, and all we need to do is just, I see, I'm just going to turn my milk down. What we want to do with the milk is just bring it up to a, the boiling point, but nice and gently. So I'm just going to turn the heat down slightly, so I don't want it to burn, that's just key. we go, so I've just turned my milk down and we can get on and just give the eggs a little whisk together. Okay, and go. Here we go, and now we can add in one dessert spoon of sugar, so a nice dessert spoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of corn flour. Just a nice good teaspoon of corn flour. And we'll give that a nice little whisk together again. There we go. And I'm just going to turn my milk down now, it's just boiling, so that's perfect. Just give it a nice stir so it's not burning. And you can bring the milk over to your work surface. Here we go, so hopefully your milk is looking something like this. And we just need to remember to take out with this, the bits of vanilla pod. So if you count the ones that you put in, then you just need to count them out again. One. Two. Where are, here we go. A slotted spoon might have been easier for this, but... Um, let's try a slotted spoon. There we go. 
three, and there's one more in here. That's the vanilla pod out. But as you can see, you've still got the lovely seeds in there. And now what we want to be doing is we're going to, whilst whisking, pour the milk into the egg mixture. Okay, so I'm going to change hands and just got to whisk continuously, otherwise you'll get scrambled eggs and you really don't want that. That wouldn't be nice custard. So just start whisking and then just pour gradually until it's all joined together. we go. So hopefully you've got a nice bowl of fluffy mixture, just grab a spatula and you can pour the egg mixture back into the pan and we'll take this over to the hob to um, put back on the heat. There we go, get rid of the bowl, just about fit. We take the pan over to the hob and we'll just put it back on the heat and now this is the bit that you just can relax and stir. So just keep stirring and I've got it on a medium burner that's on full. If you keep stirring it shouldn't burn and all we're doing here is bringing it up to just boiling point but as soon as it starts to get to boiling point we're going to take it off the heat and it's the boiling point just around there that'll um, make it really really nice and thick. So keep stirring This is such a great trifle and being able to make your own custard really makes all the difference. Those um, vanilla pods are just so much better than um, vanilla essence or vanilla extract. Really does make the real deal. So just keep stirring, making sure that it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan because you don't want any brown bits on the bottom. Burnt custard wouldn't be very nice. We go, it's just starting to thicken up now. Hopefully yours is doing the same. It's just starting to come up to boiling point. So I'm going to turn the heat right down now. Just keep stirring though. And it'll just thicken just for a little bit longer. Because if you were to boil it rapidly and it start coming up like milk would, uh, it would go really grainy and you wouldn't have that really nice smooth custard. We're almost there. And remember, it's going to be runny at this stage because it's hot. But once we've chilled it, it will set perfectly so you can scoop it out and it'll be delicious. There go. So it's starting to get there. I'm just going to turn the heat back up slightly just for just a little final little go. Hopefully yours is looking something like this. we go, it's starting to bubble so we'll turn the heat right off and you're, it's like that, it's nice and thick and we can take the pan back over to the work surface. Okay. And now we can bring in our trifle dish and I'll just spread out the, the fruit. And then all that's left to do is just pour the custard on. There we go. Just pour the custard over everything. So that it completely covers it all. There we go. Nice thick layer of custard. That's exactly what we want. And then lastly, before we put it in the fridge, we need to chill this, but if we cover it with cling film um, on the surface, it'll stop a skin forming, which is what we want. So you can laugh at me using cling film now, because I'm rubbish at this. So if you just put cling film over the top, and what we're going to do is, it's a bit like if you're making a, a pastry case, you just want to ease the, ease the cling film inside, lift up the sides for once the cling film is actually stuck. Just till you touch the custard 
You get it? Like that. See, so the custard is all completely covered with the cling film. And you might want to leave this for five minutes just to cool down on its own before putting it in your fridge. Or, um, or if you're happy to put it in your fridge, that's up to you. But leave it to chill in the fridge till it's set. And then when you come back, we'll be ready just to do the final layer of cream, a little bit of chocolate on top, and compare.